What kind of eggs would you like? How about chicken eggs? Ho, oh, oh. ho. Fried or scrambled? Surprise me. Love you. <laughs> What's the matter, love? <laughs> Missed your mommy, huh? <laughs> prisoner in an egg foo young factory. <laughs> okay, who's the smart aleck witch? You owe me one egg. I hardly think that's a proper way to address your father. Oh, Daddy, I, I'm sorry. I, I thought maybe it was Mother or Serena. I hardly expected you to make such a quiet entrance. I didn't want to disturb. How is the little prince? Just fine. Looking more like you every day. Just for that, my darling daughter, I'm going to bestow on you the highest honor at my disposal. Thank you, Daddy. Hello there, little Adam. <laughs> Why, he is just thriving, isn't he? Oh, incidentally, before I left London, I entered him for membership in the Warlock Club. <laughs> At the age of ten weeks? Well, it's never too early. Before you know it, he'll be a man. And a man never knows when he's going to want to spend the night in town. If he isn't a member of the club, he'll have to stay in an hotel, and we can't have that, can we? <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> and how is little Tabitha? As radiant as her mother, I hope. She's taking a walk with Esmeralda. Why don't you stay for breakfast? You can see her later. Love to. I'll have uh, champagne and caviar. <laughs> a beluga caviar, of course. Uh, caught off the north shore of the Caspian in the month of May, and the champagne... I'm sorry, but we're fresh out of champagne and caviar from anywhere. Nonsense, you can't be fresh out of anything as long as you have your powers. Oh, Daddy, stop it. You know that witchcraft's off limits around here. Except in extreme emergencies. But this is an emergency. I'm dying for some caviar and champagne. Well, you haven't lived until you've tasted a handmade breakfast. <laughs> you know the trouble around here is ego. Plain, unvarnished, mortal ego. Your husband doesn't want you to use your natural powers because it makes him feel inferior. But I tell you unequivocally that if he had those same powers, his, his objections would vanish in a flash. I don't agree. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Company for breakfast. <laughs> Daddy's always a wonderful surprise. Well, 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 how good to see you, Dustbin. Darren, it's been far too long since our last meeting. No, I wouldn't say that. Darren, Daddy's going to join us for breakfast. Terrific. Samantha's <laughs> looking absolutely fabulous, my boy. No doubt due to your tender, loving care. You know your mother's quite wrong about him. Sit down, <laughs> sit down. Thank you, sir. Why so formal? Call me Maurice. Okay, Maurice. Or Dad? <laughs> okay, Dad. You were right. Sir is best. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I think we're having fatted calf. <laughs> I have a little surprise for you, Daryl. Darren, in honor of the arrival of my first grandson. That really wasn't necessary, Maurice. Sir? <laughs> Sir? That watch is waterproof, anti-magnetic, and has built-in aircraft radar. It's really very handsome. It's shockproof, too. I don't know what to say. But best of all, you can perform witchcraft with it. Now I know what to say. <laughs> no, thank you. Now look, Darwood. Darren. What's wrong with using the watch just to tell the time? You didn't mention it could do that. Now, Dusty, my boy. It's Darren, my boy. Thank you. Daddy, if he doesn't want it, why force him? Why does he have to be such a dog in the manger? He's no such thing. He's a man of principle. You mean he was a man of principle? <laughs> <laughs>